Hey guys, we have some huge news today in the Fightstick world with the release of new firmware from the GP2040 CE team. But first, a little backstory to help you understand the significance of this news. Brook Gaming is a Taiwanese gaming company specializing in hardware accessories for game consoles. Brook makes several different PCB options and has had the lion's share of the business in the custom Fightstick PCB market for at least the last half dozen years. Of course, a player can always pad hack or use adapters, but for better or worse, Brook is definitely the main player in this arena. But recently, huge strides were made by the open source Fightstick community who work on the GP2040 CE firmware project. They are a group brought together through a shared love of open source firmware and hardware. With GP2040 CE being designed for the RP2040 chip from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, it is extremely affordable to get boards this firmware can run on. Because this firmware is designed for RP2040 based devices, it will work just fine on a bare Pico or one of the mini Brook form factor boards like this, the advanced breakout board, which was designed by the train. And if you have any previous experience with a Brook board in your custom stick, you'll be right at home with the ease of these new PCB installations. Although this particular V4 board iteration has been around for a couple of months, the new firmware update from the GP2040 CE team have started to truly tap into its potential. Most notably, that PlayStation 4 is now playable. This brings its total number of modes in this firmware up to five, but being playable on a PS4 represents surmounting a huge obstacle. When connecting a non-authenticated device, you will typically see it stop working on the PS4 after eight minutes. This is what is referred to as the eight minute timeout issue. If you are able to source a copy of the necessary files, however, you are able to upload them via the GP2040 CE web configuration tool and authenticate it as a proper device. This will mean that you will not time out after eight minutes. Please note that the necessary files for this are not and will never be provided by the OpenStick community or anyone from the GP2040 CE team, so please do not ask for them. With the keys authenticated, you can enjoy a fully native PS4 controller experience on all PS4 titles, as well as PS4 titles on the PS5. Playing actual PS5 games is still a pipe dream for the moment, but you never know when a new update may become available. But what's the price of all this work? Absolutely nothing. The GP2040 CE firmware is absolutely free, and they will never charge a penny for it. All that is needed is a Pico or breakout board that the firmware can be loaded on. So what's the downside? Are these boards notably slower than current offerings? In the FGC's quest for better and better latency and for lower and lower input lag, the speed of this board also strikes me as noteworthy. It actually goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brook as one of the absolute fastest aftermarket PCBs on the scene. So why is this such a game changer? It's because players will be able to get a fast, PS4 playable board comparable to the highest end of current industry standards at a fraction of the price of a Brook PS4 board. Not only will this encourage more custom stick fabrication, but it may encourage Brook to offer more competitive prices for the rest of their catalog. And the best part is that everything is open source, so I imagine we will start to see several people picking up this tech to use in their own boards. It's all a very exciting time in the fight stick PCB world. Huge thanks to The Train for getting me this V4 breakout board and the OpenStick community for sending me an advanced copy of their firmware. With a little bit of online digging, one could potentially find the files to authenticate the controller to ensure timeout free PS4 play. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to keep up to date on Fightstick News and Tech, and I'll see you next time.